Okay, so we've been on this train now for like five hours and we just wanted to give a little rundown about what we think the vibe is here. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> The reason I'm up this early is because today I'm starting my journey to southern Italy, specifically to a town on the southeast coast called Lecce. The first of three trains we're taking is the Eurostar to Paris. Um, we're then going to have lunch in Paris before getting on our second train from Paris to Milan. We're going to spend a night in Milan. Um, and then spend the next day there until hopping on a sleeper train from Milan all the way down the Adriatic coast to Lecce. But for now, I need to quickly finish getting ready and head to St Pancras because our train is at eight. Okay, so we've just got through security and our train leaves in just under half an hour, I think. But I just wanted to say a little bit about why we're taking this route specifically, because you can get to Lecce a little bit faster if you get a day train from Milan um, instead of a sleeper, but you still have to stay a night in Milan. And we thought, if you're gonna stay a night anyway, we wanted to make Milan like part of the holiday and gain a day basically by getting the sleeper train. Also, we both just really love sleeper trains, so we thought it would be more fun. Also, the reason we're not flying is because it's so much better for the climate to take the train. If you want to know a bit more about that, then I'll link to a video where I go into more detail about why I gave up flying for holidays. Okay, we're at this really cute cafe in Paris now, which is on the other side of Paris to where we arrived. Um, but it was super quick, we just got the metro. It was like nine minutes on the actual train, I think. And there's plenty of time to have a proper lunch to like go to an actual restaurant or cafe. Cause we arrived like 11.30, I think. And then our train doesn't leave for Milan until 2.30. So yeah, plenty of time. And we're also gonna get some food from the station for our dinner because um, the train doesn't arrive in Milan until 9.30. And we're not sure what the food's gonna be like on the train, so we wanna make sure we've got lots of options. from Paris to Milan now and it should take about seven hours but the cool thing about this train I think is that over half the distance is actually just between Paris and Lyon but it only takes like two hours and then the rest of the five hours is from Lyon to Milan and the reason for that is because France has these super fast rail lines and the one we're traveling on now was actually the first one that France ever built but it does mean that because we're going through the Alps we should get some pretty good views. Okay, 
Okay, so we've been on this train now for like five hours and we just wanted to give a little rundown about what we think the vibe is here. What do you... <laughs> We basically really like this train, like we've got a lot of space in our seats, we've got our plug here, the bar's really nice, the food was surprisingly good. Yeah, it really was. You got a quiche. A vegan quiche. A vegan quiche. But it looks so good. No, it was really good. Even the toilet's really nice as well, Emma was saying. The toilet's really clean. Those are good toilets, they're good toilets, they're super clean. Yeah, no issues. Okay, we've arrived in Milan and we're just gonna head to our hotel. Yeah, we're gonna get the metro, so it should be like 15 minutes, I think, until we get there. But yeah, really nice train ride. Really yeah. We basically talked like we basically talked the whole way. So good environment for good conversation. <laughs> Can you pick a point that we can choose to rewind to or 